In today's video, we're going to look at the national grid, which is the giant network of transformers and wires that spreads across the country to distribute our electricity. Electricity in the UK is generated from a range of different sources, but most of it comes from power stations. Now, whether we're burning fossil fuels or doing nuclear fission, power stations work by generating loads of heat and then converting that thermal energy into electrical energy. How much electricity they generate, though, depends on demand. Generally, electricity demand peaks in the late afternoon and evening, when everyone gets home from school or work and starts cooking and watching TV. To cope with these surges in demand, power stations need to have lots of spare capacity, and so they often run at well below their maximum power output. Regardless of the time of day though, we are always using loads of energy, and so the national grid has to transmit huge amounts of power. If you remember the equation, power is equal to voltage times current. So to achieve a high power, we really need a high voltage and a high current. The problem though, is that whenever a high current flows through a wire, it generates lots of heat, because of the resistance in the wire and so we'd lose loads of energy to the surroundings, which would be rubbish, because we're trying to transfer this all across the country. To avoid this, we have to keep the current really low, which means that our voltage will have to be really high. This means that once the electricity is generated in the power station, we have to increase the voltage before sending it across the country. And for that, we use step-up transformers, which step up, so increase the voltage to around 400,000 volts. The wires then transmit the electricity all across the country between huge pylons, and then just before it reaches its destination, like a town, the voltage has to be reduced back down again, this time by step-down transformers, which lower it to around 230 volts. And it's really important that we lower the voltage back down, because for one, high voltages are dangerous, and two, they would blow the appliances in our houses. So to quickly summarize, most electricity is generated in power stations. And in order to get the electricity to our homes, it has to pass through the national grid, which is made up of transformers, wires, and pylons, with step up transformers, increasing the voltage to minimize energy loss during transmission, and step-down transformers lowering it again to make it safe to use. And that's it for today. So if you found it useful, then do give us a like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you next time.